guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new here, I'm Stav, and this is my channel, She Equips Herself, and that's my husband, Mac. And we're here at the range, and we're gonna test out two Walthers, the CCP in 380 and also in 9mm. We decided to test out these guns because one of you actually sent me an email and said that you were interested in trying them out or maybe seeing if it was a good gun for your wife because they're being marketed as an easy to manipulate firearm, kind of on the same wavelength as the Shield EZ series. So we're gonna try them out today and see how they work. We're gonna be comparing them to the Shield in 9mm and also the Glock 42 just to get a comparison as far as recoil goes. I'm just gonna show you how I'm carrying today because I happen to love this holster. Um, if you wanna get yourself, if she equips herself tank, I will link my merch store below. But I'm carrying in my Alexo Athletica leggings. And there's my Shield Plus right there. This is what I usually carry. I also have my extra magazine in the other pocket. And I clipped it in there with a Neomag, which I really, really love. If you've seen my videos before, you know what these are, but it's just a magnet that keeps my magazine in place. So I'm carrying in these leggings today. I love them. They do have a trigger guard in here made by DeSantis. So this has been one of my favorite combos lately is just these leggings because they're so easy to put a shirt over and it's great concealment. We're actually at the range today filming for our new online course, which is gonna be a live fire concealed carry class so we're super excited to bring that to you guys but we're we're working on it right now and we'll hopefully have it out to you soon okay we're gonna start with the CCP in 380 this has eight rounds in it we're at the seven yard line I'm gonna fire all eight rounds and see how it feels Really easy to manage. The recoil is not bad at all. Um, I don't love the trigger though, because it doesn't have much of a reset. You have to bring it all the way out before you can fire again. But you can show them how I did. I'm gonna do it one more time. The grip's really comfortable. Um, I think this is a great gun for like a beginner shooter as far as how it feels and the recoil and all that. Just to compare, I'm gonna shoot eight rounds out of a Glock 42, which is also a 380. So let's see how this goes. I like this gun a lot. <laughs> um, I can shoot this faster because there's a really nice trigger reset on this gun. It feels like it's recoiling a little bit more, but I think this is a tad smaller than the CCP, so that might be why. But I stayed in there with that group, and uh, this is definitely easier to conceal and carry if that's what I was looking for. But still manageable. Now I'm going to go to the CCP in 9mm and I'm going to try to keep all these shots in the head. Again, we're about at 7 yards, so let's see how I do. This is going to recoil a tad more because of the caliber. Comments? Um, it recoils a little bit more. Again, you have to bring the trigger all the way back out before you can shoot again, so I don't love that. But I don't notice a huge difference as far as recoil goes. 
That might be because I'm used to a 9mm. You don't notice a difference with other 9mm? Um. Or are you comparing it to the 380? Oh, I'm comparing it to the 380. Okay. Alright, I'm going to shoot this one more time just to get a proper comparison when I shoot my shield. Alright. Uh oh. Hold uh, on. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. That's, that's, the, that's the ninth round out of this gun? Yeah, it hasn't been broken. Yeah, we, that's what you're seeing is out of the box. So it's non broken in gun. We didn't shoot it once, not on film. So the ninth round out of the gun caused a malfunction of some type. But I will say, not totally uncommon with a gun that's only been fired nine times yeah. to experience a recoil, I mean, a, a malfunction. shot it again. I do think it recoils less than my shield, but we'll see that when I shoot it next. I think I threw another round. But I'm not going to beat myself up too bad. I got most of them in here. Okay, so now I'm going to shoot my mostly everyday carry gun. This is the shield plus another 9mm so I can compare it to the CCP 9mm. I'm going to aim at the head again. This is more comfortable for me. Um, shorter trigger reset. I don't think that the other one recoiled that much less for me to choose that over the shield. There's my one miss with the shield. I just love this gun. <laughs> so while Mac is getting some more rounds so he can try it out, I just want to tell you guys about um, our upcoming live fire course. So this is going to be a course that it's all videos that are going to be pre-recorded. Mostly Mac is doing the instructing on this one and it's going to be something that you can watch and then we're going to give you things that you can take to the range with you and apply what you've learned in the lessons at the range. So while we can't be there in person teaching you one on one, you can still get the instruction and then apply it at the range. So we're really excited to bring that to you guys. All right guys, seven yard line. The CCP in 380, I can just flat out tell you that I am a Walther fan. I've fiddled around with this gun. This is the first time I'll be shooting it. I can attest that I'm probably going to agree with Stavruller on the trigger, but other than that, it feels real good. Slides very easy to manipulate. Mm -hmm. I like the way the sights kind of come together as a stock sight. The slide stop seems to work. Even the safety, which I'm not a fan of, works pretty well. Let's see how it shoots. All right, so here's what I can tell you. Recoil's great, ergonomics are great. I feel like before they sent this gun to me, they threw it onto the beach for a while and they got as much sand and grit into the trigger system as they could possibly get. It's a good way to explain it. Because <laughs> it is a rough, rough yeah. trigger. The lack of reset doesn't bother me nearly as much as the lack of smoothness to it. I think that if this trigger gets polished or I shoot a few thousand rounds through it and it gets smooth, I'm gonna actually like this gun a lot. But right now, trying to stay on target with that gritty trigger, I'm at seven yards and I struggled to get that group down there. So take a look and I'll try it again. He struggled to get an almost perfect group. <laughs> they married a perfectionist. Anyway, that's a great group right there. All right, so now we're gonna compare it to the Glock 42. Eight rounds of 380, 380 versus 380. This is lighter, this is smaller, and I tell you, it definitely has a better trigger. So, I think I'll go into the shield in the top left -hand corner rather than stay in the head, and we'll see how it works out. <laughs> I 
What did you think of the feel though? Well, definitely a better trigger. Uh, ergonomics goes to the Walther, recoil impulse goes to the Walther. The, what this gun has going for it is it has a better trigger, but it's had well over, you know, thousands of rounds th shot through it. So it's got a much smoother trigger. I like the reset better. But as far as going to the range and shooting for fun, if we smoothed out that Walther trigger, I bet it would win. I bet it would be a better, and I could tell you, I shot a better group with the Walther than I did with the 380, and that, than, the, than I did with the Glock, and that's, hmm. that's saying something. Let's go take a look. Let's go take a look. So this is his Glock 42 group. Smaller target though, but. All right, first shots with the nine millimeter here. Let's see how it goes. I'm gonna shoot into the hips. Come on, Walter. Oh. I have a malfunction. Let's go see how he did. He was shooting at the hips that time. They're all in there. So here's what I'll say about that. I found it very comfortable to shoot. I think Walther in general has top-notch ergonomics, best in the business, if I had to put it into a category. <gasps> Sorry, that was an Oriole. A bug blew by style. No, it so. was an Oriole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fly, an Oreo flew by? An Oreo! Uh, I, I would say once again, I feel the same way about that 9 that I do about that 380. I think if you smooth out that trigger, you got a shooter on your hands. But the trigger is just so poor, it's a little bit of a problem. Let me compare it to the Shield Plus just to get an idea on recoil, recoil and pump. Shield Plus, just to get an idea about how it feels. Uh, I'll aim to the right side of the hip so you can compare the two different groups. Okay. Boy, I threw that last one. <laughs> right so side. Himself. All right, here's the here's the shield group. That was the Walther group. I will say that I don't notice a discernible difference in the recoil. Whatever that soft recoil mm -hmm. system is, is not really that soft. I would say I shot five shots in one hole with the shield plus, and then I kind of fell apart. <laughs> and the Walther, I shot, you know, relatively good group, but. I, I, once again, I think that Walther did a great job. I like the front serrations. I think I think they did an awesome job of designing the gun and creating the gun. And then when they put the trigger in the gun, they just fell asleep. Yeah. Like some like whoever's in charge of triggers for Walther, you should get an award for the PPQ and the PDP and all those others. Like you know, like they should put you up on their shoulders and and carry you out like Rudy at the end of every day. But if that same person dev designed the trigger for this. You need to look yourself in the mirror and decide if you're, you're going to be like a better. They it's just terrible. Picked a random trigger oh, and put it in there. There's and it's Walter not, has not so good. many great firearms with great triggers, and this is just terrible. I really hope it smooths out if we continue to shoot it, but yeah, I think it's. I, don't know, I still think it's kind of a nice shooter. Yeah, it's not bad. Just needs a better trigger. Yeah, but for sure. A lot of guns have small problems, mm. but that, re that those malfunctions we experience are not great either. Mm. Hey guys, me and Stav just returned from the range and we were shooting the Walther CCP both in 380 and in 9mm. Uh, I just wanted to go over a couple things with you real quick before we finish that video. Uh, first off, just things that we discovered at the range, ergonomics, top notch, I absolutely like the front serrations. I, I kind of like having those, I know a lot of people don't use them but I like them. Um, back serrations are nice. The safety is very doable. Uh, a lot of concealed carry firearms have a bad safety, meaning it's hard to get to. This guy, you can you can just get to it and get off it real easy. So it, it's got an actually nice safety. Seems to only be on the left hand side, so I guess lefties you're a little bit out. It's got this chamber indicator right there and allows you to know when you're going to be firing the weapon or when the weapon's cock. I guess that's not a chamber indicator, that's just letting you know when the weapon's cock. Seems like the magazine comes in and out pretty good. Um, Again, top-notch ergonomics, but the trigger was just terrible. I just wanted to compare it for you so you can see what it looks like 
as far as size goes and then we can get a weight on them so here it is matched up with the glock 42 and the glock 42 currently has an eight round magazine just like the walther so you can see that basically the same height I'm trying to get in focus the walther is a little bit longer there you go a little bit wider not bad they're pretty they're pretty close when you have an eight round magazine in it not too much different. And then with the shield, we'll have the shield plus with a 10 round magazine and the Walther with an eight round magazine. And what you're gonna see is similar again. The Walther is a little bit longer. I would say they're almost exactly the same width or very close as far as width goes. So I can get that in focus for you. About the same height, a little bit longer. The Walther is a little bit taller, but they're in a similar ballpark. They're not too far off. Let's get a quick weight on them. So the nine millimeter with eight plus one rounds of ammunition, which is how you would carry it. Let's uh, let's get the eight round magazine going. Plus one, which is how you would carry it. And let's just see how that looks. One pound. 12 ounces and 5 eighths. I wish it was just all straight ounces there. Let's see how that compares directly to a shield with 10 plus 1 as it would be carried by most people. 1 pound, 9 ounce and 3 eighths. Then let's go ahead and compare that to our 380, eight rounds in the gun, one round sitting next to it, one pound, six ounces, and that's one quarter. So now we're gonna compare that with an eight round magazine in the Glock, one extra round, and it's gonna be one pound, one ounce, and one eighth. If that trigger smooths out, and if somebody that uh, watches this knows or has a firearm where the trigger has smoothed out over so many rounds, 500 rounds, 1,000 rounds, please comment and let us know. If that trigger smooths out and you're not a stickler for a reset, meaning you're totally okay with pulling the trigger full every single time, and a lot of shooters are, uh, if that trigger smooths out, that's a shooter. Both of those guns are going to be comfortable, good shooters, and it's going to be totally your decision if you like them or not. Ergonomics are awesome, so that's definitely something to do with that. I love the recoil impulse of the 380. It is very low. To compare this also to a 380 EZ or a 9mm EZ, both from Smith & Wesson, both the slides are very easy. Super easy to manipulate the slide on the Walthers, super easy to manipulate the slide on the Smith & Wesson. The Smith & Wesson magazines are much easier to load. There's really no difference on magazine loading from the Walther to any other 9mm or 380 firearm. They're just as easy or hard as you're used to. But the Smith & Wesson EZ has a notable much easier mechanism for loading the magazine. So if that's part of your decision-making process, you might want to look at the EZ. I will tell you this though, the Walther crushes the EZ with ergonomics and the EZ's trigger is definitely better than the Walther's. So if you're in the market for either, I would suggest getting your hands on them, shooting them side by side and seeing which one is best for you. But as far as the easy slide manipulation, if you're interested in that, that's something Then I would say these are probably the Walther and the Smith & Wesson EZ are probably your two top categories. If it's not that big a deal, uh, you can manipulate the slides and you're okay with that, then I would you know, possibly look at other firearms because it's a little bit bigger, a little bit blockier than some other concealment firearms that you might need to carry or want to carry. So hopefully we we gave you some information out there probably a lot of question marks more than answers from here but go ahead and leave a leave a comment or just let stop know whatever you think we'll do the best we can to answer your questions okay guys that was just a quick little assessment of those two guns while we were here at the range if we shoot them again we'll definitely give you more of an update as to whether or not our opinions of them change but i hope you like this video make sure you stay tuned and join my email list if you're not on there already i'll be keeping you updated as our course progresses and gets closer to launching and i'll see you guys in the next video stay safe bye